Hi everyone, Ray here for another Daily Shave. Today I'll be using a soap out of uh, British Columbia, Canada. The soap company is called Highland Springs Soap Company. And this is uh, created by Mary and Chris Tronic. Uh, again, they produce a variety of different personal care products. But we'll get into more detail about uh, some of their products and the soap as we go along. So again, today I'll be using a soap from Highland Springs Soap Company. This is their Katoni Blue. So let's get started. I just uh, got done taking my shower. I've got the water in the tub blooming. So uh, here we go. So let's take some of that excess water out. I'll splash it on my face. And then we'll start lathering. So I'm using the Katoni Blue. So this scent is inspired by the region that the couple uh, live in. So they live in uh, Katoni Bay, uh, Canada. Again, so it's inspired by the blue, blue skies, the lakes, the mountain views, and the clean, fresh air. So, uh, and again, when I smell that, I get a nice, clean, refreshing aroma uh, of, of, uh, of the soap. So, I could start with a lather. So, I'm just gonna lather up. So, it comes in this nice, kind of three ounce, uh, this tub, and it's three ounces in there. I'm just gonna lather up. I'm um, using the West Coast Shaving Two Tone Tall Synthetic Brush. So, again, Get that uh, initial aquatic clean scent. So there's a combination of bergamot, uh, jasmine, and eucalyptus. And then as you kind of lather and uh, let it bloom and all other stuff, you kind of get some citrus notes. And I believe it's supposed to be orange and lime. Again, uh, not that strong with my scents, but I believe that's what it's supposed to be. But again, it definitely is a very clean aquatic scent. So again, a big fan of that. There you go, so we got the lathered. So. Get some of that excess out. And again, I definitely get that the it's super clean aroma. Again, a very aquatic, refreshing scent. Again, not that of like the of the sea, like a or a beach scent, but definitely like a clean, refreshing air. Like uh, it definitely reminds me of uh, some hikes that I've been on. So, all right, so I'll just get the lather down and rinse off my hands. All right. Again, using the West Coast Shaving Two Tone Tall Synthetic Brush. You can see a lather easily develops with this. And like I was saying, so it's a very clean scent, very refreshing aroma. You know, I was saying it reminds me of hikes that I've been on. Um, such as um, hiking maroon bells in Aspen, uh, Colorado. Uh, again, it definitely kind of teleports me back to that sense. Well, besides kind of gasping for air because of the altitude, but um, definitely that that clean aroma and the views uh, of maroon bells and the mountains and the sky. Again, I can definitely uh, kind of get that feeling with this soap. It definitely kind of brings me back to that that place. Again, that's the cool part about what shaving is that. And sometimes you just invoke the memories with the different scent profiles that are occur. All right. Well, all right. I got my first pass or my first lather up. And again, for the scent profile, again, I definitely rated a nine, nine and a half. Again, big fan of it. And for the shave, I'm going to use my Timeless Titanium Razor. It's in super light but super efficient. And you can hear it just mowing down the hair. And the soap itself provides excellent cushion, glide and protection of the razor, no tugging whatsoever. And just gliding down, and again, just mowing down the hairs. So again, I would rate the performance of that for protection and glide. 9 out of 10 as well. And the razor's really mowing down, but again, I'm not getting any pulling or irritation from the razor. Soap is doing a great job of just, you know, letting the razor do its job of mowing down the hair but not letting it get any pulling or tugging. So again, big fan of this soap. 
and it's had the Highland Spring Soap Company's Katuni Blue scent and a very clean aquatic refreshing aroma. Nice little cooling feeling with it as well. Yeah, if we had the eucalyptus, it's in there. That's my first pass. Right. All right, let's get ready for the second pass again. Nice, smooth, and ready. And nice, feels moisturized. We just have to the first pass of the soap or the razor. Let's get the second uh, the going. And you can see a nice thick yogurty lather easily is developed here. It's an all natural product. And the inspiration behind this one again is Katoni Bay, where the couple live in Canada. Here I'm using a West Coast Shaving Two Tone Brush. And a little water of that. There you go. Yeah, that's better. Get it dialed in a little bit more. Let's go with the second pass. Again, very clean, refreshing, uh, aromatic scent to it, aquatic. So here we go. Second pass. And the hair is getting mowed by my timeless titanium. And you can hear it's getting mowed down. Again, the soap's doing a great job. Again, besides the, the audio feel, or uh, hear, hearing of it, you don't get any of that, that feel of the tugging at all. So very, very happy with the soap performance for that. Oh, again, same thing. And very, very cushioned feel for the blade. Just kind of glides on there. Again, they've come out with, uh, with a variety of different scents. They've got a barber shop that they've come out with, as well as um, this very mystic scent. Again, it's it, it's it, it's amazing. I've uh, I've been able to try that one as well. And they have a variety, a variety of different scent profiles. Some citrus notes as well as just those specific ones as well. Again, they're all high quality. And they also have matching aftershave splashes and balms, which I'll be using the matching aftershave when I'm done. A uh, splash. All right, all right, let's rinse off. Clean up the deal. Thing. Oops, around the mustache area a bit. Besides that, everything's good. Nice. All right, so to finish it off, I'll be using the matching aftershave splash, the, uh, the Katuni Blue. So again, they do have an aftershave balm as well, but I'll be using the splash. Again, it, the scent profile is perfectly uh, matching the, the soap. Again, a very um, clean, aquatic, refreshing scent to it. Right. Uh, nice. And it, then it definitely adds a nice cooling sensation uh, that I get from it as well. And then the skin feels nice and moisturized and reinvigorated post shave. And again, the aftershave splash is perfect so again it's a nice pairing exactly to, to the soap scent so again i'd rate that a nine out of ten as well so kind of in recap today i use the highland soaps highland spring soap company 
uh, Katuni Blue soap. Again, for its scent profile, again, it's inspired by the mountain views, lakes, and blue skies of Katuni Bay in Canada. Again, uh, I would rate this a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Definitely takes me back to some hikes I've had, and uh, so I'd rate that a 9.5 out of 10, just for the bring back those memories. For the protection and glide, again, no irritation or tugging. Uh, I did a great uh, even uh, slickness for the razor to glide upon. I'd rate that a 9 out of 10. And again, in the matching aftershave splash, spot on. Again, it, uh, it gave a nice cooling, refreshing feel to it post-shave. So again, big fan of that. So I rate that a 9 out of 10. So hopefully you found the review of uh, Highland, Highland Springs Soap Company's Katuni Blue helpful. If you check it out and the other uh, scents uh, on the West Coast Shaving website. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.